YouTube viewers, it is Tuesday morning. My experiment has been sitting here for a full day. And uh, if you look down here, you'll notice that uh, we got some crystallization growing on some of the pieces there. What that is, is uh, we're gonna have silver in this solution. And uh, what's happened here is some of the silver has started to cement out on the brass substrate from the gold fill material. All right, what we're gonna do now is I've got a uh, flask set up here. And what I'm gonna do is draw off the solution into this flask, get this liquid out of here, in here using a vacuum, and then we'll start adding more fresh acids to our uh, gold filled scrap. tip pipette here and then I'll be able to get down in there real tight and get the rest of this liquid out of here without disturbing the material that's in the flask stuff now this is our gold filled material you can see some of the silver started to cement out onto the brass in there that's normal so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna fill it back up with some still water and we're gonna start adding more nitric acid with our uh, our delivery apparatus here. All right, let's see here. We're gonna put the lid on. Insert the delivery tube here. Now pour another charge, 500 milliliters of nitric acid. this and our funnel up here and start to flow Again, I'm going to add a little bit of heat.
We've got 2100 milliliters in there now. And uh, I'm gonna add another 500. I'm gonna keep going with this. So we get all the base metals dissolved out of there and then we can recover the foils. I'm dripping the acid in a little faster now. Uh, we can do that. Now that the uh, some of the base metals have been removed from this it's not so important to add it in real slow. You can see by adding it quicker, it does foam up pretty good. But as the base metals get consumed, we can start adding the acid a little quicker because uh, there's not as much metal in there to react with the fresh acid. This is an interesting clip. You'll see me throttling the acid uh, with the stopcock coming out of the uh, funnel there and the corresponding reaction in the beaker. This is moving along pretty good. You can see some gold foils in there starting to float on the surface. And what I'm doing is, uh, kind of throttling the acid flow here and uh, I'm going to increase it and just show you. You can see the acid flow quicker there. And then uh, I just keep an eye on the reaction and when the uh, bubbles start to get up high on the uh, side of the beaker I'll slow the flow coming out of the uh, funnel until the reaction calms down a little bit. Uh, eventually, it'll calm down and quit uh, foaming up real bad like this as all those base metals get dissolved. Uh, you can see the foam moving up, so I, uh, I cut down the flow of acid here to just a trickle. And then we'll let this calm down before we uh, start adding a whole bunch more acid. And once this calms down, we can start flowing just a little bit more in there. The beaker's kind of full, as you can see, but it won't take long. And that reaction will uh, slow down a little bit and we can start adding more acid. Restart the flow here, just a trickle going in now until we get the rest of this stuff in there. It just drops, dropping in now. now. The trick is to get the acid in there as quickly as possible to get the uh, base metals removed from the gold filled scrap, but we don't want to put it in so fast that the reaction overflows out of the beaker. nearly at the end of it here. As you can see, uh, it's got a little bit of acid left. I'm going to drain the rest of it out into the flask. And then what we'll have in there, and there goes the last of it out of the funnel. What we'll have in here now is a total of 2,600 milliliters. I'm gonna add another charge to our funnel. We've got 2,600 in there so far. And I calculated that we need about 3,600 to uh, completely dissolve all the base metals out of this gold filled scrap. So there's another 500. What I'm going to 
do is add it to the funnel and then we'll start the acid flow and continue to dissolve out all the base metals out of the gold filled stuff here. Reaction is progressing nicely. You can see some foils clearly floating on the top there. And what I'm going to do now is restart the acid flow just a trickle and we'll let this continue to react all right there we go For me, it's a bit like watching the grass grow. Here I'm throttling the uh, acid into the uh, reaction again. I've got the nitrate going in in a solid stream now. And uh, we're at the point now where we can add this acid a little faster because most of the base metals have been uh, consumed. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, increase the flow here a little bit, see what happens. If it gets to bubbling too heavily, I'll uh, cut back the flow out of the funnel here. So it's kind of critical to watch it. I'm operating right on the edge of a boil over, trying to get the nitric in as quick as possible to speed the process along. But I don't want to do it so quickly that we uh, create a situation where we're going to boil this over. This looks like it's rising up. Now I picked a predetermined spot at the bottom of that little black mark there. If my foam hits that mark, then I'll uh, Cut back on the flow. It's getting pretty close. I'm gonna cut the flow back just a little bit here. And slow it down. Get it back to a trickle. And keep this nitrate going in as quick as possible so we get this part of the process completed. This is kind of interesting. You can see one of the gold earrings after all the base metals have been dissolved out. It's starting to float. Got just about all of our acid in. I'm gonna drain the last few milliliters out here into the beaker. And uh, shouldn't be a problem because the there's not very much metal left in there now and there goes the rest of it Let me pull this up I'm gonna grab this and pull it up and empty out the line carefully now into our beaker there's acid in the line that'll flow in all right I got everything in there now what we're going to do is take our delivery tube out and I'm going to crank the heat on this now and just let this react with the acid that's already in there. The foils are starting to float, which is a good sign. It tells me we're pretty much uh, complete here with this reaction. So we'll just let this crank the heat. We'll let this boil until this uh, fumes lighten up a little bit. I've run, I've run out of room in here. 
So what I'm going to do is once the uh, nitric that's in there has been consumed, and I'll be able to tell that when the fumes go away, we'll let this cool off. I'll add some distilled water, let it cool off, and we'll get the uh, liquid out of here. That liquid will contain silver, just like this that we've already taken off. And we'll get the silver out of there later on. I don't think I'm going to do it during this video. Uh, but we'll get the silver out of there and recover that. I just primarily am interested in getting these foils recovered. And then refine this with aqua regia. And then maybe I'll do a separate video on how to get the silver out of these solutions. All right, we got 3,100 milliliters in here now. 3,100 milliliters of concentrated nitrate. It is 11.45 and uh, we dosed it with nitric at 10. It's the last time we put the nitric in. So it's been boiling in here for almost two hours, hour and 45 minutes. I'm gonna pull it down off the heat now what I'm going to do is add some distilled water to this to dilute the solution and then we'll let it cool off and uh, we'll see what we got going on inside of here. Distilled water going in, we'll let this cool off and then get this liquid off of here and see what we got. Resist. I'm going to get in here and take a quick peek and see what we got. Oh boy, look at that. Those are the hollow foils of carrot gold from the gold filled stuff. All the center base metal part has been dissolved out of these now, just about everything. And all I've got is the hollow foils what they used to be. So I'm going to let this uh, solution cool off here. Then we'll get that liquid out of there and add some more nitric just to make sure that we got everything dissolved. I've allowed the solution to cool off a little bit. I've got a filter paper in here. Now what we're going to do is filter out this solution This is an hour and a half worth of footage speeded up. As you can see, that uh, fluid is not going through that filter very easily. I've had this thing on uh, vacuum now for about an hour and a half. It's coming through drips at a time. We've only got this much of the solution pulled through the filter. I got that much more to go. So what I'm going to do here, I think, is I'm going to pull this filter off now. And I'm just going to draw the solution out of the uh, flask or out of the beaker up here with my uh, vacuum device here let's get this flask 
out front. be able to fit it all in here. Now we're just going to use a straight suction line here to pull the solution off of the gold foils down here. Here we go. Material in it will let it settle. We cover that at a later time. And this, I'll just put this back down and put, put it back under a vacuum. Pull the rest of this through this filter. It took me an hour and a half just to pull about a liter through. So we're gonna pull the rest of this through with vacuum. Now let's take a look at our foils in here. base metals in there with it, that will be a problem. All right, let's add some nitrate to this. And we're going to try to get all the rest of the base metals out of here before we try to dissolve these foils in aqua regia. Put it back up on the heat here. Looking at those foils earlier, it looked like all of the base metals had been dissolved out, but as you can see by the fume production there, there's still plenty of base metals that need to come out of those foils before we go to the aqua regia. This has been on boiling now for about... Uh, about an hour and a half I guess since that last nitric addition as you can see there's still fuel production going on what I'm going to do here is measure out about 100 milliliters 100 ml of uh, 
nitric acid here. I'm going to add this real slow to the reaction up here. See what happens? I'm going to add this real slow now. Bunch of a reaction there. And that's telling me that I pretty much got to a point where most of these uh, base metals have been dissolved out of our gold filled scrap. Alright, that was. 100 milliliters of nitric acid going into a boiling solution and we didn't get much of a reaction what I'll do is just go ahead and let this boil now I worked on this all day Sunday I didn't work on it Monday and I've worked on it all day today Tuesday it's about 6 a.m. and uh, it's 6 p.m. right now so we've got, a, got some time invested in this but for now, what we're going to do is let this boil, see if we can get those fumes to clear up, and then we'll go from there. This has been on boiling now for about another hour or so, and uh, it's getting a little dehydrated. So what I'm going to do here, put in about a half liter of distilled water, and I've put in... 3,100 milliliters of nitric acid into the uh, reaction up here. I'm going to put in another 200 milliliters of nitric here. And I'm going to add this now to our reaction up here. There's been an additional 200 Added to this 31 so we've got 33 in there right now and then after I add this I will have 3400 milliliters of concentrated nitric in here and uh, that's pretty close to the calculated amount that I uh, thought we'd need as you can see there's plenty of fumes being evolved here and I've fallen for this I've rushed it and I'm not gonna rush it this time I'm gonna keep boiling here until I don't get any fume production in there the last thing we need to do is call this thing too early and uh, commit to putting these uh, foils in aqua regia too soon before all of the base metals and uh, other material soluble and nitric acid has been removed i'm just not going to do that man i'm going to take my time with this this is a large batch and i do not want to be lured into making a premature decision to uh, go to Aqua Regia. So we're just gonna, right now it's about 7.30. I've been working on this a little over 13 hours now. And we're just gonna leave this boil now until I uh, don't get any more fumes in here. And then we'll go from there. plus 200 and another plus 200 so I've got a total of 3500 in there now 3500 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid 3.5 liters and it's still reacting This is about an hour and a half of boiling condensed into a few seconds.
perfume production is starting to lighten up here. So it's pretty safe to conclude that we've got everything dissolved. Time is 10 p.m. I've been at this since about 6 a.m. this morning. And uh, we still got some fumes going on in there. But now I'm gonna take this. I'm pretty sure we got all the base metals out of there. That's a pretty nasty looking solution. I'm gonna take this down off of the heat now. We're gonna add some distilled water to it. And uh, I'm gonna call the video. This will be part two. As you can see, this much gold filled scrap is not easy to refine. All right, I'm adding the uh, still water to cool it off and to uh, dilute the solution there. And we'll call this the end of part two back out tomorrow morning and continue right where we left off. That'll conclude part two. Thanks for watching.